I'm John Muir Laws, and before you run out and buy your next sketchbook, I wanted to show you a few of the options that are in front of you. This is what I've used for years. It's a, a blank Canson basic sketchbook. Um, it's got terrific paper for, um, for, for doing lots of pencil sketches. If you start to apply watercolor to it, it'll take light watercolor washes, but the, the pages begin to get a little bit wobbly and wrinkly. Um, you can also paste uh, cards and other sorts of paper into it, and I find that that works really well. If you use these after a while, the binding on the edge will start to peel off. I just stick it back on with a piece of duct tape. Um, and a nice thing about these sketchbooks is that because the pages are sewn in, the pages themselves are not going to be shifting around on each other and smearing pencil drawings that you have. If you have a spiral bound book, that tends to happen, so you have to hit them with a little bit of fixative. But in a sewn in book, that's not a problem. If you do a lot of watercolor with heavier wash washes and you want a paper that can take a little bit more wear and tear, you'll be interested in these Fabriano uh, Venezia sketchbooks. So the paper here, listen to this, so it's a heavier stock paper and it's going to do a really good job of taking watercolor washes and you can tell these sketchbooks because they have this sort of brickwork pattern on the cover of it. If you are using a spiral bound notebook, this is the kind that is my personal favorite. It's uh, called a Comtrack in spiral notebook. And what's special about this sort of spiral bound book is that you can take the binding of it, twist it in your fingers, and it comes completely out. You take it all the way out and you can insert back into it any kind of paper you want. So for instance, in this sketchbook, I have some heavy drawing board for careful illustrations. I have several different colors of toned paper, because I like to do a lot of sketching in the field on, toned, on pieces of toned paper. That's really fun to do. And I also have some pieces of lighter sketchbook paper. So you can put in whatever kind of paper you want draw on whatever sort of paper you want, then when you get back home you can take those out, spray them with a little bit of fixative, and reassemble them chronologically into a, a, a notebook so that this thing is then ready to go into the field. You're not carrying all the drawings that you've already finished when you're going on a long backpacking trip and don't want the extra weight. Recently there have been two other developments in sketchbook technology that I think are really exciting. Number one is the uh, Kunst and Papier, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, binder board sketchbook. And what is interesting about this, it's a, it's a sewn-in binding sketchbook. But you can turn it all the way back on itself like this if you like to fold your book back. So that when you're sketching out in the field, you don't have to have it open like this. Being able to take it and easily turn it back on itself without destroying the binding of your book is great. The uh, cover of it is more of a, 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 a heavy piece of, of cardboard, but it is sewn in along the binding here, and I think that that will take a lot of good wear and tear. One last sketchbook for you, and this is for all of you teachers out there. It's a real problem if you want to get a good solid sketchbook into the hands of your students, that can get really expensive. It can be $10, $20 for a sketchbook. And you can't do that for your entire class unless you've got an enormous grant. If you've got a constrained budget but can spend perhaps around $3 a sketchbook, Treetop Publishing Bear Books for about $3 or $2.95. Um, here's the sketchbook that they send you. This thing has 46 pages in it. So it's not as thick as one of these, these other, but a student can do a lot of sketching. There's good heavyweight paper in here that can take a very light watercolor or can also take writing, drawing, and, and work in pen. So this is a terrific thing to know about if you are on a tight budget and want to get a set of sketchbooks for your classes. With a book like this in your hands, the students will feel that their sketchbook is, is, is a really valuable item. They will appreciate it more than just a few pieces of paper that are stapled together. 
So that's a, some of the sketchbook options that are open to you. Find one that feels right in your hands and that you enjoy using, and get out there and sketch. I'm John Muir Laws. Thank you very much.